Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I have a rack that I'm going to unbox from Tina, from Tina's Craft Creations. Um, I got home and I saw this box and I was like, what? I was like, why does that look like Happy Meal? And it was, um, she surprised me by sending me some mail and I, the only thing I did do was I quickly opened up the box and I looked at the card and, um, and that's the only thing I got to do. So look at how cute this little card is. And did you make this? Oh. So look at how cute it is. The little bunny there. It says Happy Easter. And I did read it off camera. Um, so she sent me some bunny mail. Isn't that so cute? So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Tina. Definitely unexpected. But appreciated. It's always fun getting mail, isn't it? And I haven't really been doing like well the last mail I got was from um Michelle and but I haven't really been doing like swaps and stuff like that so it's definitely really really nice to get mail and I love the color of this um shred please excuse my nails guys I need to do them they look horrible I just have to find the time because I do my nails myself but look at how pretty that is oh I cannot wait oh and already I see some pretty things and we got some chocolate okay let us i'm gonna take everything out of the box oh my god i see something super cute in the corner i'm gonna take everything out so that we can and i'm definitely saving a thread because that is really pretty i love reese's and my daughter israel loves reese's as well oh i love that sequence mix oh my god this is too cute this little bunny Okay, let's, let's take a look at everything in here. This is super cute packaging, Tina. I absolutely love it. <laughs> um, okay. And here she included these Peeps lollipop rings. There's two in there. So of course, I will be sharing with Israel. That is cute. And then she sent me a cute little um, like mason jar um little cup and then there's some Reese's eggs in there and I will share these with Israel as well because she loves Reese's pieces and so do I so thank you for that I will actually just leave them on my desk and she sent some peeps as well we'll be sharing with Israel as well thank you so much girl um so here she sent this beautiful sequence mix in this really cute container and I love this washi tape I don't know if this is um it reminds me of the Paige Evans bloom collection sorry about the glare guys but this is so pretty look at all of these I love that little sequence right there that is so pretty please send me the link to those I need some of those in my stash those are so pretty and this sequence is also really pretty. Oh, love, love, love. Beautiful mix that can go with like... Oh, I love this, this sequence too. Tina, I need the links if you've got them. Really pretty colors. Definitely um, matches with like a Paige Evans Bloom. Um, this can also go with... Um, I feel like Round Trip as well. Any Mikey Holmes collection, honestly. Very pretty. And a good amount, too. I love that. I love the little sequins that are in there. I don't have some of those uh, variations of sequins in there. So thank you so much for that, Tina. And I love the container. We'll definitely be using that. And she sent me this beautiful memory dex card. And I don't know what collection this is. So you have to tell me. I've been kind of out of the loop. Um, I have not been crafting as much lately, I've just been really busy, and when I do craft, I've been making, like, pocket letters, and this is so cute. It says, enjoy the little things. Really, really pretty. Oh, I love the holographic heart. She stitched around this envelope. Is this, oh, I guess it's a die. And then this is her Instagram hand, uh, her... Instagram and YouTube handle guys in case you are not following her please go ahead and give her a follow she always has um, a lot of great haul videos 
and she's been doing a lot of crafting lately. She crafted, I think, the whole month of... That was February? Yeah. I still have to get to one some videos. But how pretty. And look at how she's put some sequins up here. It's the acetate shaker. That beautiful sequins mix. So pretty. Absolutely love it. I think it's a Paige Evans collection. I'm not sure. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my memory decks holder. As soon as I'm done filming. And then let's... Then we're going to leave the little bunny for last. It's so cute. <laughs> Let me just move bunny out the way. It's so cute. When Israel sees that, she's going to want to take it. Oh, and she sent me some goodies. And I don't have any of these things because I have not... I haven't, I haven't even been craft shopping, guys. This is so cute. And these can easily be altered very very pretty i love that and it's pink and these little wooden um pieces as well could definitely be altered like you can glitter them color them in with a marker even you know oh you can even put fabric on them i feel and just kind of cut it up with like a a knife that's a good idea and i feel like that can go with any of the maggie holmes collections because she she always has like animals and stuff so thank you for those you know Oh my god, and look at these ones with a little cotton tail. Love, love, love those. Maybe I'll try to do something with Israel with these and we can paint them and do something fun and decorative. Those are super cute. Thank you so much for those, Tina. That's very sweet of you. And then we thought, oh, how pretty. We have uh, one of those KS Craft totes in here. I have this, I've only used it once. But I love the dye. It's definitely going to be one of my go-to dyes because it's very versatile, you know. Um, look at how pretty she has. This definitely has to be a Paige Evans collection. I love the way she's decorated it. The paper choice is very pretty. The purple and the pink and the little holographic hearts. Uh-oh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then she put her sticker there underneath. How pretty. Okay, and let's see what's inside. Oh, and she used one of those beautiful, um, more than likely I'm thinking this came from Lori, the little rosette. That's super pretty. I love that tote. And it's super sturdy as well. So let's move some of this beautiful shred out of the way. And she sent me some beautiful embellishments. Let's go ahead and take a look at everything. Hold on, I just want to get all of the shred out of the way. Ooh. So let's start off with this really cute little shaker. I love this rosette. Love, love, love that. And beautiful sequence mix in there again. And these little like enamel um, stickers there. So cute. I love like the little layering that she did there. Very nice. I love that. Oh, I wonder if, and you will have to tell me, Tina, because I'm wondering if this butterfly fell off of this. Like, was this there? I love the color of that butterfly. I'm not sure if that was there. Let me know. Really pretty. Another um, little frame embellishment there. So cute the way she's layered. Oh, this makes me miss crafting i definitely need to try to start crafting again guys i've been working like on a mini album but it's about it so cute love 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 that and then we have some more embellishments sorry my hands are really dry and then here we have um oh no this is where the butterfly came from i can see the spot right here no worries, I can fix that. I love the colors on this collection. Oh, and this is a, such a beautiful mix. That is really pretty. I love that purple mix. That's so cute. Beautiful shakers. And like I said, to me, this looks like Paige Evans. Um, I know it's not Bloom, but it looks very similar. So I definitely could use it with my Paige Evans Bloom collection for sure. 
And then here she sent me some blank um, egg embellishments that I can definitely decorate. And then keep in mind, she sent me all of these bunnies. And I can definitely use these to decorate some of these blank embellishments that she gifted me. And I do not have this size, so that is perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Tina. We're going to put those back in there. And then she also sent me two of these. And I love this holographic paper. And I do not have this size, so once again, super cute. Thank you so much for sharing that with me. How cute. I have to glue that back. I'm going to put this back in here for now. So once again, it's so pretty. Thank you, thank you so much for that. Love it, love the way you layered everything up. Makes me want to play with my dye. And now we're going to go into Mr. Bunny. So she sent this really cute container. It's so cute. Um, and such a great idea to like fill it with all of these goodies. And here she sent me some of the egg embellishments, but she's like actually decorated them. And that's really pretty there. This could go right on top of like a mini album, you know, so pretty. I love that one. I love the colors of this collection too. Oh, I love that, that tinsel thread. So really pretty here, the layering, the little use of the, the little embellishment dots. What are they called again? Enamel dots, not embellishment dots. So pretty. Oh, and then we got these pretty butterfly embellishments. This must be a new die, I guess. Really cute, look at the different layers. How pretty. I love that. That's really pretty, Tina. And I love how you used this like iridescent paper for um, a lot of your layering and backing. I love that paper. I think I have some in my stash, I think, that I got from Michaels. I'm not sure. And then she sent me another one with this pretty like teal clip. So nice. I love the choice of papers as well. And then we got some more in here. I'm loving the bunny mail, girl. And the colors, and I have some of these in my stash. I need to use them. It's so pretty. This is fun. Like, I have to dig through, like, the shred to find the embellishments. It's cool. And then here, she sent me some decorated uh, wheelbarrows with that really pretty purple sequence again. And she's decorated them nice and simple, but I love the way that they're decorated. Really cute. I love flowers, so you stick some flowers on something, it's good. Give me all the colors. I love that. Super, super pretty. Oh, I love that. These are all really nice. Oh, and my favorite, I love tie clips. And she sent me a tag flip, guys. All right, I'm gonna move the bunny. Oh, there's one more, one more egg embellishment. So pretty. All right, and I'm gonna move the bunny. Put all that pretty um, shred in there. And let's get her out of the way so that we can look at this beautiful tag flip. This is stunning, I love the colors. Look at the um, seam binding. Loving the colors of these seam bindings. It's so pretty. It screams Easter, guys. These are like all my favorite colors right here. Like, I just love this mix. So, so pretty. Okay. So here, look at how she's decorated. This tag here, Wild at Heart. Love the colors. Oh, love that too. See now, this looks like bloom. I think this is bloom. I think that paper is bloom. And you're going to make me want to pull it out. And I love the stitching. I really need to try to do a little bit more stitching. I do have a machine, but I'm just kind of lazy and I'm a little nervous at it. <laughs> love how you layer that up. Such a good idea to use this um, 
banner die on top of that. Super cute. I think those are cut apart. Life is beautiful. Very cute. Oh, I love this. Very pretty. Those colors are very pretty. And the stitching. She stitched like on everything. So cute. I love a mixture of like different sizes and different types of like tags when you do a tag clip. It keeps it fun and interesting. Really pretty. I love how she popped that little ladybug up on there. And it says love grows here. Super pretty. Uh oh, okay. The shred. Okay, no worries, I can fix that. It goes right there. Very pretty. I don't recognize these like chipboard. Oh, I love how you did this. I love how you added like the flowers on top there. That's really cute. I love that and she popped those up on foam. I love the 3D effect. You probably can't see it well in the video, but it's propped up. That is so pretty. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Tina. I it was so nice to get some surprise mail. I love everything. Thank you for thinking of me. Everything is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and actually put this on my wall right there. Um, I actually have like all of the tag flips. That I've received from pen pals and from when I did my um, birthday challenge like maybe two years ago, three years ago, something like that. So I'm so excited to have yet another beautiful one to add for inspiration. Um, thank you guys for watching. Tina, once again, thank you for all of these beautiful embellishments. And I'm really excited because I do have the Bloom Collection, which I can definitely use all of this stuff with and pair it up beautiful colors I don't usually um, do Easter crafting but I love to use like these colors for like summer and stuff too like spring so this is nice I already have some embellishments that are made so definitely an encouragement for me to I've really been into like making albums like to um, kind of document like my two girls so this is really nice like she's already made a lot of really beautiful embellishments for me to use in my spring crafting thank you guys for watching tina once again thank you so so much and stay tuned bye okay guys so um forgive me tina i didn't realize that there was still something else in the box until i started to like take the tissue paper out and i'm like what is that oh my god that was another package look guys she sent me this beautiful pocket letter and the thing about it is i'm pretty sure that this is the one that she may have posted on her instagram and i thought it was so pretty i was like oh my god i love pocket letters and like i said besides many albums i've just been doing some pocket letters as well and um yeah this is so pretty i love the colors i love the choice of papers look at the gorgeous sequence mix there and it's and look at the stitching she even used like lavender to stitch it's so pretty and i love um this rosette that she used here at the bottom oh and the little um i love this detail here too. sorry i was so busy looking at it, i just realized i wasn't in frame and sorry because i know the glare is probably not doing it justice but filming this at night but look at how pretty this is look at all of the details the colors the choice of papers Oh, very very pretty yay I'm so excited I'm gonna add this to my um, I have a a binder where I put all of my pocket letters that I've been making or that I have received um, outside of a few a handful that I have on my wall display but I'm running out of wall space so I have them in this binder so I'm gonna go ahead and add this beautiful one in there as well thank you thank you thank you again Tina and um, yeah I'm gonna have to piece the video together to include the last beautiful piece of mail in there love 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 i'm like let me check the back i usually don't send stuff in the back of my pocket letters but i know people do sometimes 
because I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything else out. Thank you so much for this. Love, love, love it. Thank you guys. Bye.